Now, he has been performing for 23 years, named Close Up Magician of the Year twice, and will not only be doing magic at the upcoming Stars of Magic show, but for the second year, he will also be emceeing the event. We were talking about Nathan Anderson, dun dun dun, dun who's joining <laughs> me. That was my magic by yeah, making you appear. Here I am. <laughs> Well, we've had a magician on each day kind of leading up to this big event. What I sure. love to ask is, how did you even get started in magic? Uh, well, my uh, dad worked with a gentleman who was a sales rep for a pharmaceutical company. And he uh, would use magic a little bit in his sales presentations. And he had a, a trick. Uh, and he, my, my dad told him that he had a son that was really into magic. Um, I always watched every show I could on television and I was very enthralled by it. And uh, he said, well, why don't you take this trick? I'll show you how to do it. Take it and teach it to your son. So I probably practiced that trick. I can't even imagine how long I practiced that trick. Uh, and I, that got me bit by the bug, as they yeah. say. And uh, ever since then, I have not let it go. So oh. it was great, yeah. And it was actually, uh, it was called a finger chopper. Uh, <laughs> and it was actually discontinued because- Really? Uh, yeah, because a little kid cut his finger off. Because <laughs> it actually did so, the, uh, the chopping yeah, of the finger. Yeah, if you didn't do it right, yeah. yeah, yeah, it would. So I don't know, there's some little, well, he's not little anymore, but right. somebody's walking around with half a finger. Well, yeah, I was gonna say, that. you've got all-, all Yeah, I've got all mine. I, yeah, I did it right, <laughs> I, 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 I perfected it. And that's why you are here today still doing <laughs> Yeah, magic. Absolutely. And I know you said you were, you know, watching shows and watching magicians. Did you really have people that kind of inspired you or people that you look back now on? Absolutely. Uh, I mean, I think David Copperfield is yeah. probably one for everybody. Yeah. Um, he just exceeded uh, everyone's expectations and, and really showed you what, what magic really should look like and what it can be like. Um, and Doug Henning was another one um, that, that was very important to me. But, you know, I see David Blaine, yeah. and uh, he has created new pinnacles yeah. of magic, uh, especially with TV. Um, and those kind of things really inspire me. Um, cl Close-up magic was, uh, is uh, near and dear to my heart, and I have some, um, some heroes in close-up yeah. magic, and uh, it's... It's really great. It's great to see those people and especially to meet those people and let them know that, man, you really affected me. Yeah. Yeah, it's really cool. And you're, you know, we're going to see a little bit of that here in just a moment. But sure. I have to ask you, I did say you're going to be the master of ceremonies again yes. uh, for the big event. What can we expect? Uh, I know we're talking about close-up magic, but I'm sure there's a wide range of types of magic we're going to see. There is. Yeah, absolutely. There's going to be illusions, yeah. uh, which is more like the David Copperfield yeah. kind of show. Uh, there's also some some comedy magic, um, and uh, George Franzen yeah. uh, is a great example of, of that. Uh, he's he's a great guy. Just really great family fun. Uh, really, I the last year I mean, there were kids of all ages from six to eighty. Yeah. Um, and everybody just has a great time at the show. It's a good time. It's a great collection of Arizona magicians, and just really really fun to see stuff that you don't get to see every day. Uh, and really great live magic. It's really important and it's really fun. I think it would be awesome to hear, you know, a kid that came to the show and got bit by the bug, yep. you know, and then they end up kind of making this their passion. So yeah. I think, you know, exposing your children to so many different things, you just never know how that's going to play out. Sure. Uh, who knew that, you know, the person that was doing sales affected you so much. Right. So I think yeah. that is awesome. Well, I love being able to see the magic. Okay. I love being surprised. And I, I told you beforehand, I always hope I never ruin it because I don't want to okay. drop anything. <laughs> but will you show us? A little bit of a uh, absolutely magic. so uh, this is uh, one of my favorites um, now I, I had spoke to you about uh, a choosing a card yes. I want to make sure that everybody knows that I didn't set up nope. anything with you this is actually the first time we've met yes um, and I didn't ask you to think of a card or nope. anything like that not not preset right or set up I promise <laughs> so uh, do you have a do you play cards uh, like go fish, but nothing. <laughs> okay, but you know, well, go fish would you definitely would know about a deck of cards. Yes. Good. That's good. So you do have a favorite card. Yes. Awesome. So this is a little foreshadowing. I don't know if you noticed. I have a red deck of cards. Okay. And a blue box. Okay. It's a little foreshadowing. Okay. Mystery. Mystery. Oh. It's all gonna come together. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite card? Uh, so I can tell you. Yeah, please do. Queen of Hearts. The Queen of Hearts. Let's see if I have it. There she oh, is. there she is. Yep. Now, 
I told you you could think of any card, yeah. right? So you could have actually thought of the six of spades. Yes. You could have thought of the two of clubs. You could have thought of anything. Yes. But you thought of one card. Yes. The uh, queen of hearts, I believe you said. Yeah. I want you to see there's one card different than all the others in this deck. And it's blue. Yes. Like the box. Is that, is it? I don't know. What would you do? What would you do? <gasps> there it, it is. It is my the card. Now see, that's mind reading. I knew that you were going to choose the Queen of Hearts. Oh That's my gosh. why I put the blue one in the deck. Mm. But a lot of people say, Nate. Yeah. That's my name. <laughs> they say, that's an old joke. <laughs> a lot of people say, Nate, what if I would have named a different card? Yeah. Just at random, what if I would have named the Eight of Diamonds? Yeah. Well, what you just saw was mind reading. Mm -hmm. What I would have to do is magic, and it looks just like this. Did you see that? No? No. Nope. Because look, now there's <gasps> the Eight of Diamonds and I have your Queen of Hearts. No way. This just happened. That just happened. <laughs> <laughs> That's a really good close-up. Oh, thank you. I can see why uh, you were the best of the best. Oh, they, that's this nice was awesome. I can't wait for everyone to see even more of this at the event. Absolutely. Thank me you too. for stopping in. You're very welcome. Thank you for having me. Oh, absolutely. Now, the 29th anniversary of Stars of Magic will be held at the Temple of Music and Art this Saturday, August 20th at 7 p.m. For tickets and more information, log on to starsofmagicshow.com.